Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about theories of personality, interactionist, perspectives, Sullivan's and Murray. So first we are going to discuss about Sullivan's interpersonal theories of personality. Sullivan's interpersonal theories, psychologists and psychiatrists have come up with various personality theories to help us understand how personality develops in human beings. Harry Stack Sullivan was an American psychiatrist who was considered to be the father of interpersonal psychiatry. Now his interpersonal theory explained the role of interpersonal relationship and social experience in shaping up human personalities. He observed that the way people interact with others help us understand their mental health situation and that unstable interpersonal interaction and relationship could actually uh, result in mental health disorders. Now we all know that human needs are met through interpersonal relationship. So lack of good interpersonal relationship according to Sullivan's result in anxiety in people Sullivan's also agrees with the concept of anxiety. Sullivan's also agreed with this concept of anxiety but he proposed a different response that we generate when it comes anxiety, what leads to anxiety and how we protect ourselves against anxiety. Now Sullivan states that through the repeated social interaction we develop what he called a self system which is a concept called a self system which is a concept closely related to the concept of anxiety. So let's look at the self system in greater detail now. So self system is a consistent pattern of behavior that defines us and also protects us anxiety. So this according to Sullivan, in our uh, way is our mechanism to protect us from anxiety in a simplistic way it can be referred to as our self-image. Interpersonal experience that go against our self-system tend to trigger response called security operation. Very important concept now. These are bulletin mechanism to protect us from anxiety. Now security operation include dissociation and selective inattention. There are two types of security operation. So if you are with me so far self system define us and is essentially our self image our unconscious self image when interpersonal experience go against our self system. These two types of security operation are triggered. Now dissociation when you distance yourself from something or fail to acknowledge something that connected to you or your personality it is an unconscious response. Selective inattention is a ignoring any threatening events that are likely to cause anxiety. You close your eyes and you ignore whatever is possibly gonna generate anxiety in you. Now self system are developed early in life during infancy and as we grow we also develop what Sullivan refers to as personification. So next will be the personification. Personification helps us understand ourselves and the world around us, mechanism to combat anxiety but can also cause anxiety. There are three possible personification as follows. Good me, bad me, not me. First one good me, this is what people likes about themselves and bad me, accept that people's dislike about themselves develop as a result of negative feedback. And last one, note me. Unconscious accepts containing feeling of horror. So next will be the dynamism. Dynamism is a pattern of behavior that induces and recurs. There are three types of dynamism. First one, malvenance. A feel of living in enemy's country or place. Second, intimacy. The need for tenderness that involves two people who have a close relationship with an one another and last one lust is isolating tendency characterized by 
an impersonal sexual interest in another person so next will be the levels of cognition levels of cognition refers to is a perceiving imagining and conceiving this happens in the development of the child so first level is the prototaxic level it refers to undifferentiated experience completely personal it take place on the most earliest and primitive experience of an infant so next level parataxic level refers to the prelogical experience that are communicated to other only in a destroyed fashion next is syntaxic level consensually validate experience that can be accurately communicated to others now we look at another concept which is the concept of a developmental epochs salivins also elaborated the development of human personality in staged termed as epochs he consider adolescent to to be extremely important to human personality development the turmoil we face during our adolescent shape our personalities first one infancy birth to one year this stage hasn't been a given as much importance by salivins as later stage second childhood 1 to 5 years children in the stage can often also have an imaginary playmate that helps them combat and reduce anxiety juvenile 6 to 8 years juvenile seeks competition and cooperation with their peers next pre adolescent 9 to 12 years feelings of intimacy and collaboration with one peer have a same sex peer or best friend is very important in the stage and uh, early adolescent 13 to 70 years the need for intimacy is now accompanied with the need for lust salivins consider the stage to be a turning point in terms of personality development next later adolescents 18 early 22 years balance between parental control and independent identity and last one adulthood post adolescence family uh, financial security career and socializing are other important factors which contribute to development so here we see development approach again we have seen with a lot of other psychologists and psychiatrists a developmental approach various stages and successful competitions of various stages resulting in development of human personality the important and the distinguishing factors of salivins relationship is the interpersonal assets so next we are going to discuss about henry murray personology Now let's talk about Henry Murray. His personality is now Henry Murray lived from May 13, 1893 up to June 23 in 1988. So he is known as an American psychologist from Harvard University and also an he developed this theory is based on need and press of personality called personology. together with christina morgan with the harvard professor score developed the thematic appreciation test more and colleagues investigated human behavior emotions preference and interpersonal connection which leads to the publications of explorations in the personality 1938 more suggested that personology is a holistic approach to explain the individual's personality now so personality tends to develop over time so it's dynamically develop that person's personality responds to complex the elements and other specific environment now which explain the following principles first one personality is being directed by a person cerebral of brain physiology and second one a person aims to decrease the tension and third a personality developed developed by if all all of the events that happens in a lifetime fourth one personality can change and progress and last one a person has some different characteristic and other that are experienced by everyone next divisions of personality according to henry murray the personality is divided into three parts basically this is super super ego ego it is almost the same with fluid divisions of personality but there are some 
instance that he modified this definitions of the personality divisions it contains desirable impulses such as empathy and love superego shaped by parents authority peer group and culture ego organizer of behavior this is a broader conception than fluid ego ideal a component of the superego that contains the moral or ideal behavior for which a person should strive next more is the five stages of child development is characterized by the pleasurable condition complex which likes the gauge of a person's behavior in life first one cluster complex cluster stage comparisons of the secure screen and dependent existence of the feeds within the womb next or complex this stage comparisons of the sensuous enjoyment of sucking and nourishment through mother breast next anal stage construct the uh, construct of pleasure pleasure resulting from the deviation of children become aware of toilet related activity urethral complex this stage is associated with the pleasure accompanying urination last one genital or castration complex this stage is accompanied by the genital pleasures next the theme is characterized by the combinations of our press environment and early childhood experience and needs primary and secondary that organize our tendencies of behavior in various circumstances Murray 1938 identified the between objective side reality and such subjective perceptions coin the term alpha and beta press needs differs in the terms of urgency with which they derive behavior a characteristic murray called a needs prepotency he identified needs as one of the two types primary needs and secondary needs primary needs are characterized by our basic needs these are relatively connected to our biological needs food water oxygen on the other hand next secondary needs are mostly characterized by our needs for nurturance independence and achievements these needs are relatively psychological in nature to murray these psychogenic needs functions mostly on the unconscious level but play major role in our personality murray's research leads him the uh, to formulate uh, a list of needs achievement needs materialistic needs power needs power needs affiliation needs sensual needs information needs thank you